You are welcome to Cup of Faith of Yaba Baptist Church, Lagos, with the church pastor, Reverend Dr. Bayo Shola Aremu. God bless you as you listen. Praise be to the Lord for his avalanche of blessings. It is a new day and another opportunity to receive more of his blessings. May the abundant blessings of God locate you today in Jesus' name. Today's lesson shall be a further discussion on the topic, Marks of a Sluggard, with the same background text from Proverbs chapter 6, verses 9 to 11, and reading those. How long will you lie there, you sluggard? When will you get up from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come on you like a thief and scarcity like an armed man. Hallelujah. In addition to the previously identified marks of a sluggard is that a sluggard is always engrossed with self-deception. His commitment to self-serve and maintain an idle existence may be so strong that he will oppose any argument from those who attempt to nudge him out of bed or away from his computer or phone. This sluggard's self-deception may manifest itself in grand business proposals that resist outside critique and have little basis in reality. Slow, consistent accumulation of wealth through steady work habits is unattractive to the sluggard, so unrealistic dreams of quick money may dominate his mind. It's not uncommon for a sluggard to craft spiritual sandy excuses for not working hard by appealing to biblical teaching on the necessity of rest, the fact that salvation is not by works, the need for a balanced life, the danger of acquiring wealth, and so on. In every case, the sluggard will walk in and out of conversations with his counselors, convinced he is smarter than them all, as indicated in Proverbs chapter 26, verse 16, saying, The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. Another important characteristic of a sluggard is that he lacks good leadership quality. Sadly, because of his laziness, the sluggard will not wield much influence. He certainly won't become a leader. For leadership requires diligence, sacrifice, long hours, pain, and perseverance. The sluggard despises these qualities, so he will labor under the supervision of those who have devoted themselves to hard work. This is established in Proverbs chapter 12, verse 24, saying that the hand of the diligent will rule, while the slothful will be put to forced labor. Beloved of God, Indulging laziness is contrary to our design as humans and contrary to our calling as Christians. The gospel of salvation encourages and motivates us to labor diligently in this brief life on earth for the glory of God, the good of others, and our own benefit. The energizing spirit of Christ compels us to sharpen our God-given skills so we might be useful to our King and to our fellow man, to courageously face and complete difficult tasks, and to avoid the unnecessary trouble of laziness. I pray for you today, may you receive the wisdom of ants in Jesus' name, receive grace to labor at the appropriate time. The Lord will strengthen you and empower you, He will give you wisdom for every season. This weekend, receive prosperity in place of austerity. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Happy weekend. Christ is the answer. We believe you've been blessed by the message from the throne of grace. For further inquiries, prayer, and counseling, kindly contact 0907-799-6648. That's 0907-799-6648. The church is located at 19 Stroke 23 Commercial Avenue, Raymond Street, Sabo, Yaba, Lagos. We meet on Sundays by 8 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. and on Wednesdays by 6 p.m. 
Join us same time right here on Every Other Day. Christ is the answer to all human needs. Thanks for listening.